welcome back to the channel. This is second attempt with the new camera. We actually just filmed the outro first um, because I forgot to turn the mic on and then I forgot to turn the camera on. I just talked for five minutes and didn't get a, a single bit of footage. As always, if you guys have any recommendations, comment below, let me know. It's always good to hear from you guys and what you wanna see in the next videos. I'll do my best to make it happen. This video, the guys from ADKMX came down all the way from Fort Ann, New York. Jeremy, the owner, put together a super cool program where he bought this huge race rig and offered an all-inclusive trip for all of his riders. So um, a few guys took advantage of it right off the bat. I did a couple classes with them. Highly recommend guys, if you live in the New York area, reach out to Jeremy. Next time he does one of these trips, he's either gonna go to Tomahawk or drive further south to South Carolina or Florida. So get with him and, and join those guys. As always, make sure you click that link below, subscribe, subscribe to the Patreon account. We're on our way to 500 members already, which is crazy. It's growing so quickly, so thank you guys for that. Giveaways just keep on coming. So at the end of the video, we're giving away the second free Moto X class. So make sure you watch the whole video to see if you're the winner of that. And otherwise, enjoy. section the way it sits have to rely on the cushion on that berm to get you turned that's why you guys said you tried the inside line and it didn't work the reason it didn't work is because that created a tighter turn on the exit this track and actually Jeremy can probably relate to a lot of that a lot of this is that it's out to in it's trying to create straightaways out of corners it's almost like I always use the anal analogy of go-kart trap because this place is so flowing that if you pinch yourself off on the entry, you've screwed yourself for the exit. Especially when you get here. And it's super slick and muddy here, and then you're trying to jump three tabletops around a corner dealing with slick stuff around the corner. If you can take the time, and you're gonna give up a little bit of time to do so, to make the pivot in that cushion, so then you can go straight that whole time, it's gonna make life so much easier. Definitely a little wet right here. You guys need to fight to get to the right side of that cone on the exit of the turn. It's gonna require you to give up a little bit of time in the corner to make a little bit tighter pivot in the corner, but it's gonna open up this whole section here so that you could just go straight. You two guys were so far left that you would have had to make a crazy pivot to do those jumps, which with how slippery it is, super dangerous. Where you need to make up your time is where it's easy to do so, which is the entry, charge in, brake aggressive, that's easy time made, and then the exit, accelerate with some type of aggression and oomph. Where you need to be patient is in the apex of that turn. Don't rush that corner or it's gonna blow those next three jumps in that hole straight away. Ross, you might have to steal your bike from This rut. I, I want them in that rut. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, because what Ross is doing is the best. He's right in that rut. That's what I don't want because he's coming off of it early and he's creating a corner for himself at the cone, which is scary because it's slippery though. Okay, the confusion here, and it's you're the youngest obviously, right? Yeah. Out of these three. It's funny that you being the youngest, you were the one to rush the corner the most. And what rushing this corner looks like is 
hitting the first rut, all of you are hitting the first rut, no problem. But then you start to see the light of day, the straightaway, and in your mind, you, you go like this. Oh, I can see that straightaway? You just wanna go, right? So you, you just give up on the last part of this turn and you beeline it straight. What's the problem with going straight to that cone at this angle here? You, what do you have to do? You still have to turn. Where do you have to turn? In the mud. So use, if there's traction on this track right now, which this is the best traction you'll have in this whole track, use it, make it pivot, so then when you get to the crack, you're going straight. Ross, only thing I would change with you is don't tire tap that so aggressively because you're getting a lot of wheels. Okay. Try to loft the front rather than doing this because you're getting kicked a little bit. Yeah. Have the patience to be creative. And remember too, so Jeremy asked an interesting question. The lines that might be created in the track that already exist are very likely not the lines that you want to be making anyways. Who are the guys that create lines at a practice track? C riders, maybe B riders, the occasional expert rider. But the lines are created by lower level guys, so usually they don't make sense. If I came out here and created lines now, I could, likely I'd be going in different spots than what you guys were. Nice. Freaking God, I never hit record. I'm not even kidding. Okay, now, wow, this is a nightmare. Okay, go ahead, now it's recording. But I just did a really good you job, did. and now I don't even remember. She just did an awesome job twice. First time I didn't turn the mic on, so the audio didn't work. Second time, <laughs> I never pressed start. So this is uh, take three, and action. <laughs> I don't remember anything, I just said the last two times. Thanks for watching today's that video. Was the more you move I don't more... mean to it's okay, just like I'm go. trying to be alive I'm like you when you talk to people you look like a corpse Thanks for watching also they you're spinning a lot one and two when you hold that up 
hold it out so they can see what you're like fl flagging. No, not that close. Yeah, right there. Us with AJ. <laughs> Obviously, it's with you. <laughs> Thanks for watching today's video. So the winner of the free Moto X class is Alex Welsh. Um, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell as well as um, sign up for Patreon in the link down below in the description box. Because <laughs> hit the notification bell. I've never said that. You just you're you just, supposed to you're, you're supposed just free to free balling it. No. <laughs> That's what my YouTubers say. Wow. Okay. Nice. If you hit a notification bell, then they get notified when all of your okay. videos are uploaded. All right. Good. To know. All right. Should I start over? No. No. Continue from the notification bell. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm gonna start over and say that. Okay. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time he posts a new video, like next week's when he'll announce the third and final winner for the free Moto X class. Take care and bye. <laughs> what? Okay, now you gotta say bye a little bit better. All right, bye. <laughs> and also you're in frame when you go to your right, so you gotta go to your left. I just thought I'd roll out creepy like. But you're rolling still in frame. <laughs>